living the best of life is a religion to me. And I can crush anyone that wants to deny me the luxury of life. And please make yourself comfortable. The princess will soon be with you. Come back here. Is there any problem? It wasn't all of the princess I asked of. How about the other? The prince was a bit busy. He will be with you soon. Hey, come back here. Why do I have this feeling that you two lousy guards have been discussing me at my back? I will choose not to say anything. The princess will soon be with you. And the prince will equally be with you soon. Kaip. Tell me, how were you able to achieve this? Is that not what you've always wanted? Always sending me to all these wealthy men to get them open accounts? But this is more than mere accounts, mm. honestly. And I am sure the MD will approve instant promotion for you. I do not want to talk about that. I only want you to be with me after work today. Thank you. But well, we've had enough of ourselves yesterday. It doesn't matter. I want you again because I love the way you do it. You're simply the best. Okay, 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 okay. I will see you after work. Are you happy now? Yes, I am. I will be waiting. Nymphomania in the bank. Will she ever get the help that she needs? Listen, Ulu. I am at the palace as we speak. You may meet me at home if you so desire. This is not what I would want to discuss on phone, Ulu. Please. Yes. I'm sure that must be a no. He called me a few minutes ago and I'm like, he should call you directly. What did he say? Of course, Father, you know what he said. Well, he said that the men are beginning to get out of hand. As a matter of fact, the women have joined. They are revolting. And I've been wondering, why? You know what? Schedule a meeting with the bank manager. I want to make some clarifications from them and I need to meet them as soon as possible. How long are you going to shy away from this, Father? Because I know why you're doing this. You're avoiding the topic that you should get a queen for the kingdom. Are you going to run away from this forever? Just do what I asked you to do. What is the matter with you? You don't look happy. God, I feel like slapping all the useless guards you have in this palace. I mean, you're not qualified to be here. Why are you bothered about the guards? They're working for my father and it's the king they serve. God, I hate them so much. I wish I could get the prince to fire them all. You know, if I were you, I would concentrate on building my relationship with the prince and not waste that energy talking about the gods. What do you mean by that? In what relationship are you talking about? 
Oh, I see. You're looking at me like a kid, right? You think I haven't noticed the way you look at the prince? The way you behave whenever he's in your presence? There is something active in you, and I think you should work on that. Listen, the prince is very cute. No doubt about that. And I like him. But that's all there is to it, okay? So don't read any other meaning into it. Really? Yes, really. Well, to me, I would say, Ineka, my friend, is in love with the prince. Oh, please. And I know, because it's written all over you. Really? Yes. See, Emeka, I don't know how I am going to put it, but I hate that girl. You hate the girl? Why the hate? Why do you hate her? Is it because she asked you to do something for her? As in what? Who is she to send me on an errand? They have not even married her yet, and she's behaving like the queen. Neko. Chine do. What if they finally marry her? What will you do? As the queen. The king is holding a meeting with the cabinet members. And you are both standing here. He will eventually call and you will not answer. See, Emeka, we need to finish this discussion and take a stand, honestly. Stand? Stand on, on what? Stand against who? Sincerely, Olu, I really think this should have been a private meeting between you and I. Why did you bring such a thing to many council? Go get them involved. My king, I had to involve this man because it has to do with the tradition of the land. Our culture is our culture, and it cannot be neglected or relegated to the background. No kingdom can stand and function well without obeying the laws of the land. And that explains why you should discuss my personal life with my son? He is not just your son, your majesty. He is an initiated man of this kingdom and heir to the throne. This topic that borders on the queen of this kingdom concerns him. It's okay. I'm going to make this very brief for everybody. I want to thank you first of all for giving me time after the death of my beloved wife, Queen Esther. I know the culture, but I need more time. Your Majesty, we have so many beautiful maidens in this kingdom. And if I may ask, do you want us to join you in sight of a maiden? No single daughter in this kingdom will say no to you. At all. So why do wait? Nobody. My elders, thank you very much, but please, no thank you. I want to make the choice myself. I want to get a queen who will maintain the peace we have in this palace and in the kingdom. I want to choose someone who will love and respect the prince and the princess. Your Majesty, we had to get involved because the people are already agitating. They need a woman to fill the position of queen of the land. Yes, my king. My wife confirmed to me that it was actually one of the things they discussed in the meeting yesterday. Oh. We need to beat them to it. Exactly. It is even good that you mention it now, Ichi Wafo, mm -hmm. because I heard it yesterday. And even as we speak, I'm still speechless. Well, men in council, you have done well. I want to thank you for your contributions. But I promise you, I will provide you with a queen for this land. I promise it, and I mean it. What baffles me is the way he dismisses the topic each time it is being brought up. He's not interested, he acts nonchalantly, He's not even bothered. You know, the more we talk about this, it makes me miss Mother so much. Oh, oh, please, please. Listen, you have to come to terms with reality. Mother is no more. She is not coming back. Allow her soul rest in peace. 
The bone of contention here is father getting a wife. I know all that, but I don't know what you want me to do. I have told father to pick a wife, but he said he would do that at his own convenient time. I feel we should obey that. Really? Yes, really. For how long? Tell me, for how long are we supposed to wait for father to make that decision? Are you aware that the people are crying? The people are bothered? That desperately in need of a queen? Please. Father listens to you. You guys have this connection. Believe you have your ways with him. Convince him. Make him see reasons he should pick a wife. We need a queen. Please. All right. Can we now talk about her? You told the guards you were going to come, but you never did. You're talking about your friend. Can we change the topic, please? She loves you. I see the way she behaves whenever she's around you. She practically melts for you. Don't tell me you've not noticed that. I'll visit this issue when I am ready. Oh. What is wrong with this guy? He promised he would come after work. Eh? What is keeping him? Scenes of the flesh. Scenes of the flesh. Scenes of the flesh. Hello, my dear. Hello. Oh, Are you not coming again? Oh, I'm so sorry, my dear. I. I just scheduled a meeting with the representative of Mudia Media. Oh no! But you promised me that you were going to come after work. Yes, I promised, but I can no longer make it um, because um, business came up and I have to follow it up. seeing this girl because she might not understand if I keep making myself available for her she may not understand hello troops ah, you have forgotten me oh it's been a while ah okay <laughs> don't worry I'm okay where are you um, don't worry, I'll make it up to you. Just come to my place. I mean now. No, now, now, no, no, tomorrow, tomorrow, today. Now. Ah, you can't come now. Ah. Okay, if you can't come now, don't worry, don't worry. Who else? Yeah, hello. Joe? Joe? I know you'd be surprised that I called you. But don't worry. I'm a Christian. I have forgiven you for all the wrongs you did to me. Okay? Where are you now? I want to bring you to my place. I need to discuss something with you. It's very important. Oh, God. What? You are out of town? Yes. I'm certain I have some that I'm no longer using. So I'll gather them tonight and tomorrow I'll send them to you via courier. Is that okay? Okay. Hey, 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 hey! Come here. Please, I'm coming. I said come here! Let me drop these bags. I'll be back shortly. Wait! 
Can you imagine this palace maid? She has no respect. If it were the princess, would she do that? Gosh. I'm here. Are you mad? Are you out of your senses? Are you stupid? I'm sorry. How dare you do that? Sorry for your useless self. But I wanted to drop those bags. Which useless bags are you talking about? Are they more important than me? I'm sorry. Keep your useless apologies to yourself. Go and get me jollof rice to eat. Okay. And where is the prince? He's the one that runs the family business. By now, he should be in the office. Whatever. Just go. Useless palace workers. I will deal with all of you in this palace. Watch. As in, she slapped you? She slapped you for what reason? I'm still surprised myself. She's looking for someone she will lead into a fight and be labeled a fighter. I know I am more than that. You are more than that, as in? Are you telling me that you will not go back to that place and return the slap? No, Emika. I don't want to offend the princess by fighting with her friend. Oh, spare me all that. Are you sure that she is princess's friend? How do you mean? I, I might be wrong, but I have strong belief, strong feeling, and enough proof to show that that girl, that particular girl, is not coming here because of princess. She is coming for the prince. And I can prove it that both of them are dating. Please, Emeka, enough of all this. I am waiting for the jollof rice she requested for to get one, serve and go back to my room. Irony of stupidity. The same idiot that slapped you asked you to microwave some rice for her. This is madness. Fallacy of lack of common sense. Ijoma, please, can you just poison that particular rice so that she will feel the pain of that slap? Poison it now. Poison it. I'm beginning to see those things you say. That woman is a troublemaker. I'm beginning to avoid her. <coughs> so simply because she slapped you, Joma, you came to that conclusion. All this time she kept insulting us. What did you call it? But it, Joma is too good. She is too good. Too kind and decent. How would she, she, she do that? If I were the one she slapped, you see that plate of rice? Poison will be dancing inside. Mecca, you are very funny. I can see you are not happy with the freedom you are enjoying. You want to poison someone and end up in jail. Thank God you are not a job. <laughs> you that woman. Enjoy your meal. Not so fast. You think I don't know what you're capable of doing? What do you mean? Test the food and convince me you didn't poison it. So you have that mindset that someone can administer poison in the palace? And you still see yourself as a friend of the palace. Don't provoke me with your useless lecture. You are not qualified to teach me anything. Go on. Test your food and vindicate yourself. And make sure you swallow it. I don't know why you hate me. Just know that I hold nothing against you. Oh, please. Just get out.
Yes, what is it? Start talking. I am bothered. Contrary to what I was thinking, we can no longer wait. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean by we can no longer wait? We need to get a wife for father. <laughs> Where is this? Where is this coming from? All we the people are no longer comfortable without a queen. They have given father an ultimatum. I've gathered the women have had reasons to discuss this in their monthly meeting. I ran into their leader today. They need a queen. So, uh, do you have any plan in place? We need to get him a wife since he can't get one for himself. I agree. But the problem here is, how do we know what he likes in a woman? How do we know the kind of woman to present to him? The kind of woman he will like? My sister, I think we're beginning to double into father's privacy. He told me what he wants. I think I have a clue. So, tell me, what does he like in a woman? It's him. I'm confused. I mean, you came to the palace to ask after me and they told you I went out. You decided to wait. Is it that you don't even have any pressing thing to do? I mean, you should have even called me. That's the least you could have done. My king. Some things are better said, face to face. It's all right. Um, go straight to the point. Why are you here? My king. I actually came to talk about my daughter, Ifoma. What about her? Is she in any trouble? No. Ifoma, my daughter, just graduated from university. A hard working law graduate. Oh, congratulations. That's the kind of news we like to hear. I mean, tell her the king is proud of her. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Unyezi, will he be asking for too much if I request that if my daughter comes to live here in the palace and serve the king? Chewafo, how could you say such a thing? With her qualification, he will be doing her injustice. I mean, with her qualification, she should be working in a law firm, pursuing her career as a legal luminary. Not coming to work in the palace as what? A servant? Come on, Ichiwa. You spoke well, my king. But if former my daughter is still single, and the first thing I want for her is to marry before working. <laughs> so how does her coming to work in the palace facilitate that process? I'm confused. My king. Both of us know, and I'm convinced. That anyone who sleeps under the shadow of the king and wakes up to his blessing every morning stands a better chance than others who have fallen. Oh no. My prince. I am really worried about my father. I don't understand. He doesn't find any woman interesting. He doesn't want to give us a queen. My prince, he has no option here. It is the tradition of the land that there must always be a queen at all times. A queen who will represent the interests of the women in the corridors of power. And when that position is left vacant, we will always incur the wrath of the spirit of Umuada. And we don't want that to happen. That's my problem. That's my problem exactly. That's my problem. I have done everything I can as a son to, to advise, to convince him. My father is completely... I don't know. He doesn't seem to be interested in anyone. That's why I came to you. I know that you're very close to, to my father. I know that you have your way around him. Please, convince my father. Tell him that we need a queen. Someone that will represent the women in the corridors of power. Please, that is why I am here. My prince, I don't know what I am expected to do here. He's the one who will live with a woman. So... 
he's the one who will choose what works for him. All we need him to do is just to have a woman that will fill that position so that we don't incur the wrath, the spirit of Umar, like I said before. All right, um, so what if he doesn't find anyone in our Ubuntu? What happens? He is not restricted to our kingdom alone. He can marry from anywhere. In fact, he, he can marry a white woman if he chooses to. All we just need him to is just to get a woman, that's all. And nothing more. Doesn't matter where the woman comes from. Why make me such an offer? I want your daughter to start working in my palace. Why? Hello, Uchiamafa. Yes. I call to inform you that I have changed my mind. I do not want your daughter to come and work in the palace. And I don't want anybody to ask me why. Let her go and look for a job somewhere else. I can always mobilize her with money for the job hunt. The palace is exempted. Are you just going to sit down there without saying anything to me? I don't know what you want me to say. You know, in this digital era, one has got to be conscious of what he says. You do not know who is recording. Is that your impression of me? Then I'm going to record what you say. I only made a general statement. I'll take it personal. Oh, just tell me you're in love with my brother, and I'll do something about it. Oh, please. Where is the palace Wi Fi password you went to get for me? I don't know why you keep dodging this question. Not again. What if I am? What are you going to do about it? I mean, he doesn't even notice me. Accept it first that you're practically melting for my brother. <clears throat> and we will figure it out. Password for the palace Wi-Fi, please. I'm melting for myself. Listen, you have you don't have anything to <laughs> your Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. Greetings. Greetings, Dad. Visit. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my king, this is Akuna, the daughter of Ichi Ogunaya. Yes, Father, the daughter of Ichi Ogunaya. Look at her, Father. She is peaceful, intelligent, and someone suitable enough to be your queen. Yes, father. And she's from a very nice background and she has a very good office. Oh, bring it. So, how are your parents? They're all right, my king. Great. The prince and princess will give you something to eat. And thereafter, when you get home, say me well to your parents. Um, father, she came to see you. She's a friend of the family. Yes, oh, really? yes, father. She is a friend of the family. She came to see you. So, Really? You, you, you yes. Say hi. Okay. So, I believe she's seen me. Haven't you seen me, my dear? Great. <laughs> uh, okay. Excuse me, please. Father. Yes. I was just telling you that she came to see you. Am I not vindicated? I told you this will not work. Oh, please. Do not draw conclusions yet. We're just trying to provide our father with a choice so that all these problems can be solved. And I told you, I said smile with your teeth open like...
I thought you said you had a clue. Now it is clear you know nothing. No one does. Father bluntly refused to remarry, that's it. He has been given excuses to reject every woman that we have offered him. So, what are we going to do? You're the one in school. Don't you have beautiful friends in your department or faculty? Invite them. Bring them. In fact, invite all of them. We will stop at nothing until our efforts are exhausted. Greetings, Your Majesty. Thanks. You look excited. Well, you can say that again. How are you doing? I'm very well, my king. I'm here to see the princess. Oh, yes, she's upstairs. So how are your parents? They are doing very well, sir. Great. <laughs> All right, Your Majesty. Okay. <laughs> Your Majesty. I'm all right. Uh, I'm worried about you. Why? Okay. Tell us, Father. What is your spec? What kind of a woman are you looking for? What exactly are you looking for in a woman? Tell us. Let us know exactly what we're searching for. Well, if you must know, I want a woman that is as calm and as nice as the princess's friend that just left here. Are, 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 you, are, you, are you serious or are you joking right now? What do you think? We brought you some nice and calm girls, but you declined. Well, that's because you and your sister cannot get me a wife. I will make my choice when I see the right choice. All right, Father. But I also want you to know that the kingdom is desperately in need of a queen. Don't worry about me. I'll take care of that. Let's not even argue about this. You are the one that have refused to ask after me in days. And if you ask me, Princess, that's not fair. My friend, I would say I'm sorry. But things have been rough around here. What happened? Is the prince okay? It's not the prince. It's my father. The king? What happened to the king? The people need a queen. But he's not making it easy for us to find one for him. All our efforts to find him a wife proved abortive. He didn't like any of the women we brought for him. This is an excellent piece of news. The king needs another wife. Wow. I thought he can stay without a woman. The law of the land states that the king can be without a wife. The queen of Obendida plays a role in the administration of the land. The position can be left vacant for a long time. We are really bothered. Because you know who is involving the spirit of her mother into it. Maybe he needs someone like your mother. That may be the reason for the delay. He needs someone to love him. My mother is dead and gone and we should let her rest in peace. That someone should be like herself and not like my mother. Don't worry, princess. Everything will be fine. Okay? I hope so. He said he needs someone that likes peace. And for his sake, I just, I hope he finds that someone very fast. I support him, you know. I mean, I like peace as well. Peace is needed in the kingdom. And people like us are always initiating peace. Really? Yes. You, Neka. Princess, you don't know me very well. I love peace. Really? Yeah. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> oh God, I am so excited! 
Why hmm. are you so excited about this? Hmm. My friend, I was so worried about waiting for the king to die before I finally become queen of this great kingdom. But I don't have to worry anymore because I would just become the queen directly. <laughs> you will become the queen directly. Of course. What does that mean, please? <laughs> Today, based off my knowledge, I've been the one throwing yourself at the prince. Hey, 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 hey! Do not insult me, okay? Don't! I am not insulting you. I'm only telling you the truth. He wants the prince and you can do anything just to have him. But he's yet to make any tangible move towards you. How then will you become the queen directly, my dear friend? <sighs> Let me break it down for you as my good friend. Listen, I don't need the prince anymore. So, I am switching to the king. And when he finally marries me, I will become queen. There is no time. Are you for real? Of course I am for real. Behold the next queen of this great kingdom. I know you very well. There is something each and you want to say. May we hear it? It's about my friend Neka. Haven't you noticed anything? Is there something I should notice? Yes. The way she smiles whenever she's around you. The way she looks at you. The way she acts after you. The way she frequents here. I believe she does that just because she wants to be with you. How come you are the only one that has noticed this because I, I haven't? I'm just saying. Maybe you should give her a chance. She's a very good girl. <laughs> you. You offer me a woman now. I'm just telling you my observations. It's left for you to make a choice. Well said, Your Majesty. I'll think about it. But you never told me your your friend has an eye on me that she was admiring me. Oh, I see. And now what's that making you feel like? Royalty. Mm -hmm. Tall, dark, <laughs> handsome, wealthy, educated. <laughs> really? <laughs> Every woman's dream. Oh, <laughs> you're not serious. <laughs> well, uh, you're looking down on me because I'm your brother. Mm. Go and ask. Let's see. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, you already asked me how I was doing. And I already told you I was doing fine. You make me shy by asking me again. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry about that. So how are your parents? They are doing great. Good. Your friend the princess is out of the palace. Yes, my king. I know. She told me she was going to Oka for her gold business. Uh, so, are you comfortable waiting for her here? Or do you want to wait somewhere else? Uh, my king. So she likes me. And I have been here thinking she has tons of guys at her disposal and wouldn't have my time. Wow. But what if the princess misunderstands her actions? I can afford to be turned down by any woman. I am going to find out. At least she likes me. And I like her. Where is love? I've been searching for so long. Where is love? The king will be with you shortly. I need to be in love. I need to get in love. I need to be in love. 
Greetings, my king. Greetings, Greetings hard-working bankers. How are you doing? You're fine, your majesty. You're fine, your majesty. <laughs> you said, I heard you're fine. We're fine, my majesty, from one person. What about you, young lady? You're not saying anything. Well, my king, we are here as instructed. Um, what are the things you needed us to clarify in the account? That's why we're here. Is the young lady going to be a part of the clarification? Um, not really, your majesty. My manager is the one in charge. But I can chip in something once in a while. Your majesty, Professionally, I, I am the one to make all the clarifications in the account. Inkiri here is not experienced enough to make definitions for the bank. So, tell me, if a fixed deposit of 1 billion naira cannot yield me an interest element of more than 10 million naira in your bank, why then should that money be in your bank? My king, if I... Um, um, I want the young lady to respond. What is your name? My name is Nkiru, Your Majesty. I already heard that. What is your full name? Nkiruka Ndukwe. So, Nkiruka, the daughter of Ndukwe, convince me why I should leave my deposit of 1 billion naira in a fixed deposit account in your bank when it cannot yield me more than 10 million naira monthly interest element. Oh, Your Majesty, the interest rate we have given you is the best you can get. I will personally advise that you should leave your money with us because the security of your fund is guaranteed. I'm not convinced by the assurance of security of fund because I know that my money is safer in the bank. Uh, well, Your Majesty, can I come in? No, you cannot. Your colleague is doing an excellent job of it already. Continue. Uh, well, Your Majesty, I know full well that peace of mind is worth more than any other thing in the world. And that peace is what my bank guarantees. So you are saying that if you are given peace of mind and money, you will choose peace of mind? Yes, Your Majesty. People forget that you cannot equate peace with anything in the world. It is priceless. Are you saying that all those going after money instead of peace of mind are misplacing their priorities? What is the need of money when there is no peace of mind? Peace is everything. Everything, Your Majesty. I think I like her. I can't stop thinking about her. She's just all over my mind. Where is love? I've been searching for so long. Where is love? I've been searching for so long. Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh, Naka. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Your Majesty. <laughs> um, I figured you might need some fruit, so I brought you some. Stop bothering yourself about me. <laughs> I have a lot of people doing things for me. It's not a bother, my king. The prince and the princess are very dear to me. I can do anything for them. Mm. Yes. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome, your majesty. So, um, should I get some? Ah, just hand them over to the maids. They know what to do. Okay, my king. I heard you brought fruit for my father. Yes. Do you have a problem with that? Not exactly, but it's confusing. Why would you bring fruit for the king? Well, I just wanted to appreciate him for being so kind to the great people of this kingdom. I mean, your father is a blessing to us. Why the sudden interest on the king? You've always noticed the prince. You're confusing me. Uh, 
Well, the king is kind and deserves more. I mean, the kind of man that every woman wants to spend the rest of her life with. Why did you start talking about the king in such manner? It's always been the prince. What has changed? You won't understand. Your father is very funny and cute. Um, please, can you ask your mate to get me something chill to drink? I'm thirsty. So, young lady, for how long have you worked in the bank? For 10 years now, your highness. Wow, 10 years. From what I see, I must say you're enjoying your job. <laughs> Absolutely, your highness. I am. <laughs> Good to hear that. I'm sure you'll be wondering why I invited you to the palace. To be sincere with you, I was a bit curious. Ah. This curiosity will not kill the cat. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was just bored and I thought, why don't I look for your trouble? I do not have a trouble, Your Majesty. Oh, you have to convince me about that. <laughs> for a young lady like you who manages huge forms for people, you sure must know one or two things about managing men. Don't tell me about that. Like you said, Your Majesty, I manage phones. I mean huge phones. Oh. But this topic that borders on managing men, I'm a bit shy. I mean, I don't even know what to say because there's a lot about managing men. Oh. Could you give me a peep into some of those meanings you have already? I'm well. <laughs> don't tell me you're shy, really. <laughs> you are making me shy. <laughs> I'll get you something to drink. You know what? I saw her the other day when I was going out. I thought it was the normal bank transactions. This is becoming more interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm so excited at least. Father has given us the sign that he can fall in love again. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope this is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is he up to? Why is he always sending for her? Nkiru is a nymphomaniac that has no self control. What in this world would the king of Obendida be doing with a character like this? Searching for so long There is love I've been searching for so long I need to get love I need to be in love Thank you There is love I've been searching for so long There is love So long, I need to get love. I need to be in love. I Greetings, your, to your Highness. Love. Greetings. Welcome. Please sit. Oh, you. you haven't touched your drink. I'm all right, my king. I'm just wondering why you summoned me again. I thought I already explained everything to you. Well, there's something I have to say before I explode. That sounds very scary. I, I hope there's no problem, my king. No, all is well, my dear. But um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I just don't know how you will react. Oh, God. Let him not ask for it. I cannot resist. What is going through your mind? Um... Nothing, Your Highness. I'm just waiting to hear what you want to say to me. Where is love? I've been searching for so long. Where is love? I've been searching for so long. I need to... 
like you. I like you a lot. And I want to make you my wife. No, no, no. No, Your Highness. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not possible. I mean, I can't be your wife. I am not the kind of woman you need, please. I don't care the kind of person you are. I'm ready to love you like someone without stains. Please don't say no. No! I can't marry you. I'm sorry. Greetings to the great king of this kingdom. Can you go and come back later? Your majesty, is everything okay? I do not always like to repeat myself. the end of the road for me. I mean, what came over him? Why the sudden change? You stand a chance to be the queen. Do not allow what just happened to weaken you. There is no queen and you can become that queen. You are, you are confusing me. I can't say if it's wrong or right, because since I arrived here, you've not spoken to me in a clear language. <sighs> I like Nkiru a lot. I'm sure you would have noticed that. I want to take it further. My king, is this what you're finding difficult to tell me? Well, my king, 
you're an adult, a king for that matter. And Kirutu is an adult. Talk to her. I believe she won't say no. I already spoke to her, and her response was not what I expected. I proposed to her, but she refused my proposal. That can be. How come? My king, are you sure she really understood what you told her? I spoke to her in plain language. I told her I want to marry her, but she said no to me. What? My king, you want to make Inkiru a queen? What do you think I've been saying? You thought I just wanted a one night fling? No. I want to take it further than that. I actually fell in love with her the very first day I saw her. And proposed to her, and she said no to my proposal. Well, my king, I, I never knew you were talking about marriage. Now you know. I need you to help me on this because I really like her. My king, that's, that would be a bit difficult. But my king, I can get you another lady. Yes, I can. Nkiru is the one that I want. I don't want another lady. It's okay, my king. I will see what I can do for you. I will try my best. It's better. Mm. But, my king, please, are you sure you don't want me to get you another woman? I can. Nkiru is the one I want. Hello, Chisum. Chisum, I'm not okay. I'm not fine at all. Everything is not alright. I'm tired of this life. Jesus, I just feel like dying. I just want to die. I just want to die. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Who have I offended? Why is my life like this? Why can't I live like every other normal young lady out there? Chisum, I am hardworking. I am beautiful. Above all, I am intelligent. But I am an insane woman. I am. I am an insane woman that has defied all forms of salvation. Why should I continue to live in misery? Who have I offended? Why am I a devil to myself? Why am I a curse to myself, Jisum? Why am I my own destruction? Why? <laughs> okay. Now tell me. How can all this happen when I can't control myself? I can't even control my urge at any given time. I can't. How am I supposed to get married and have my own kids when I can't keep a decent relationship? How? <laughs> now, I can't even get married to the king of Owendida. I know getting married to him would be a disgrace to my generation and his as well. Yes. The king asked that I should marry him. He said he loves me. He said he wants me to be his queen. But how possible is that? How? Okay, guess what? Guess he does not even know this pathetic situation of mine. He doesn't. What would you have me say? Of course I said no. Chisom, I cannot be the queen. It's an abomination. I do not want to be the one to desecrate the sacred place of the land. I can't be the one. I don't want to be. My life is shattered. <laughs> There must be some 
nothing going on between them. I saw her when she was leaving. Then I went in and saw the king in a state that I didn't like. Listen, princess. I know you are very close to the king. I mean, you once told me he tells you everything. Did he mention anything about the banker? I mean, was she there on an official assignment or is there something going on between them? What? Hello? Princess, you cannot stop me. I am already the queen and you will watch me do it. you be picking my calls? Well, I decided to rest since it's weekend. Listen, Nkiru, I am your manager, okay? You don't even know why I was calling. At least you should have answered my calls. I know, but don't worry yourself. Since you're already here, I will make it up to you. So with all the things happening now, you still have this in mind? Whatever it is that is happening, we will sort it out. I need to get down with you. Will you stop it? And you stop! What is wrong with you? Huh? Don't you get tired of this life? Can't you for once get hold of yourself? You should understand me. I cannot get hold of myself. I need you right now. You know what I mean. I need you now. Please. Listen, Nkili, listen. We have more pressing issues at hand than this. Why? Because I'm tired and the king wants to marry you. And I said no! Please! Don't even sustain this discussion because I am not going back on my word. Nkiru, how can you even say no to the king? Do you even know what that means to your life? The queen of Owen did a kingdom. This is the prayer of all the ladies in the kingdom, even beyond. That is because I am not like other normal ladies. That is why I cannot marry the king. That is why I keep sleeping with you, even though I know you're married and it is very wrong. That is why no man can stay with me up to a month. That is why I am every man's woman. That is why I cannot live the normal life that all the ladies live. That is why every man will come to me when they want to scream loud. That is why. And that is only thing I can be to them. An object to play with. A toy that satisfies their desires. I know that I am cursed with this. But I don't know why. No, 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 Kiru, you are not cursed. You are not. Please, everything will be fine. Everything is not fine. Can't you see that everything is not fine? Just do me this one favor. Go to the king, tell him that I cannot marry him. I mean, there is no relationship between royalty and insanity. I am insane and I know you know. Please. Your Majesty, you left your phone in the other state room and it ran.
you speak to her? Okay. Does she have a man in her life? Why then did she say no? I want you to talk to her. I really like her. Do everything possible to make her say yes. I'm counting on you. Greetings, Your Majesty. How are you doing? I'm very well. And what are you still doing here? They are my guards. You look unhappy, Your Majesty. <clears throat> are you okay? If you need anything, you talk to my guards. But, Your Majesty! Your Majesty! I have a problem. I have a problem. If you will not give it to us who are ready to take it, credible worshippers that are ready to worship in your temple, you will be looking at people who don't even know that you exist. Excuse me, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Did I say anything? I didn't hear what she didn't hear. that look on your face what happened in there why are you refusing to tell me what is going on in this palace why is everybody acting so strange I don't think I know where you're coming from even the king has been unhappy and cold lately and you expect me to believe all is well who told you that Neka there are some things you shouldn't concern yourself with Listen, Princess, the royal household is like family to me. You are not just my friend. You are like a sister to me. And the king is like a father to me. You expect me to turn a blind eye on what I'm observing about the people I call family? Well, it's not something I'm proud to talk about. Oh, really? <laughs> well... I blame myself because I am the one placing myself in a place that I do not belong. No, 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 don't go. Just sit back. It's okay. I'll spill it. The king found someone to marry, but the person doesn't want to marry the king. Wait. A lady said no to the king? That is not good. Who is this lady? You know her. You've met her here before. Nkirun Dukwe. The same one you called to inquire about. My father asked her to marry him and she refused. Isn't that strange? This is unbelievable. Why will you allow the king to propose to that whore? She is not fit to be queen. Just like most marketers in some of these new generation banks. All they do is sleep around with different men just to open an account with them. You should be glad she said no. Are you sure about what you're talking about? Do you know her that much to say such about her? Listen, princess. She is nothing but a slut. And you should not allow the king to settle for a debased character like that. Gosh, that's all I'm going to say. The king I know would always go for what he wants. And moreover, she's our last hope of getting the king married. Why are you talking like this? I mean, there are a lot of beautiful ladies in this community that would do anything to become queen. 
why present an outsider who has no class? Well, the king rejected all these your so-called classy ones. It happened right before your eyes. Or, do you want to volunteer yourself? And what are you saying? If you don't know what I'm saying, then we shouldn't be having this conversation. You don't want to say anything about it? What exactly do you want me to say, boss? You already know my position on this. And your position here won't favor anyone. It won't. So you just have to do something about it. Something like what? The only thing that is to be done now is to stand on the refusal. Wait a minute. What do you think of me? You think I do not like good things? Or do you think I enjoy begging you to have me even when you don't want to? Is that what you think? Or do you rather think that I don't want to be a queen? Please, I have had enough. Go home to your wife, please. Nkeru, I know it's not easy on you. But as it stands, we can't afford to lose this client. We can't. We need him. If you can't afford to lose him, then do something. Or better still, give your wife to him. Nkiru! Sorry, boss. But you have to understand me. I am human. Understand me. You know my problem. I mean, getting married to the king will be a disaster. I am cursed and I know that. I cannot be the queen. I mean, I can't. You know. Please. Enough. Ah. Oh. Seas are fresh. Seas are fresh. So how have you been? I'm um, very well, my king. Uh, but sincerely, I'm very surprised to see you. When a man wants something, he can do anything to have it. Nkiru, I want you. I don't know why you keep saying no to me. My king, I respect you a lot. But I'm sorry. I don't love you enough to marry you. When you have not even given us a chance? How can you love me when you have not even come close enough to love me more? Please, my king, don't make this thing very difficult for me. Please. This is my decision, and I do not intend going back on my word. Did you just say that? I'm not happy saying it to you, my king, but I have taken this decision. I can do anything for you, my king, but please, this marriage request will not happen. Sings of the flesh. Oh. Sings of the flesh. Oh. Sings of the flesh. Oh. oh, what a pity. What a tragedy. With tears in her eyes, she's full of. <laughs> okay. How can you badge in on the ladies? I'm sorry. It's just that my mind is occupied with what I came to discuss with you. What is that? Not, not here. Oh. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. No, 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 no. Um, I'll just wait for you inside, okay? Okay. I'll come back when you're done with him. Alright. So. Yeah. What is it? Our father is not happy. And I think it's because of that banker girl. I noticed. Finally he finds someone he loves. And we can help him get her. We have to do something. 
I don't like his moods these days. Our father came back a wounded liar. I got it from the guards that he followed that girl to our house. Our father paid someone to trail that girl to our house. Now you know how important this is to father. That is love. He loves the banker. The problem here is she doesn't love him. I think I know what to do. Even if it means bringing myself down. I'll do everything to make father happy. Please. The prince and the princess are together in this. They want their father married. And they are not bothered if she's a decent girl or a whore. What am I going to do? I am the one that fits into that position as the new queen of this kingdom. Why are they not even seeing me? My king, please, is everything all right? The way you are staring at me, I'm not comfortable with it. The truth is that I don't see how I can continue banking with your bank if I don't get to marry Kiro. Oh, my king, your highness, it has not gotten to this, please. I've tried to convince her, but she refused to listen to me. Trust me, we are still talking to her. Please, I promise you, everything will be fine. My king, we can't afford to lose a huge customer like you. A king for that matter. No, 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 we can't. Well, for your information, I want to erase everything about her from my memory. And of course, that begins with your bank. I will come to your bank next week to start the process of closing my account with your bank. So put all the necessary papers together. No, my king, please. It has not gotten to this. Please, my king. My king! My king! place you have here. Um, thank you. Please sit. I am certain you must be wondering. You're wondering what a prince like me is doing in your house. I'm even surprised. I mean, how were you able to locate here? Golden fish does not hide. My father has made you a goldfish. Be rest assured there are others like me who know you more than you can ever imagine. Others like you? <laughs> what could they possibly want from me? Simple. They want to know why you have said no to the king of this great kingdom. I don't understand. I mean, don't I have the right to live my life the way I want? Of course you do. But I am sorry you do not have all the decisions to make when the life you live affects the people around you. Your life has affected my father. I am sorry. You cannot make all the decisions in this matter. My father loves you. He's ready to make you his queen as long as you say yes. Please, my, my prince, you have to leave now. Please, leave. Ah. 
Kiro. My prince, mm. you're here. I'm sorry, I hope I've not interrupted anything. Of course, anything. you have interrupted nothing. I was actually on my way before you stepped in. Very well, then. Yeah, um, yeah. have a good day. Okay, my prince. Oh my goodness, you came out of... You act as if you're not ready for this discussion. What discussion are you talking about? What discussion? I actually came here to pick something I forgot. I'm going to my friend's place and I'll move here. When are you coming back? Anything the matter? Well, I, I, I don't think we have a queen yet. There is something about this banker girl. She's not the one we're looking for. Listen, I don't want to talk about this any further. Father is a king. He should use his power and find out what he likes. Okay? Are you serious about what you just said? Or is this something you fabricated just to know how I will react? How can you even say that? I am telling you what is happening. The king asked me to marry him and I refused. And then he started sending his son, daughter and all the people to come plead with me to reconsider my stand. Why would he do anything like that? How will I know? But come to think of it, he is your king. Why can't you marry your king? I can never marry a classless king who doesn't know what he wants in a woman. Does it mean that he's not exactly what he makes us to believe? I have lost count of the number of girls the king has slept with. I mean, he's naturally attracted to women like you and I. Women who are naturally gifted with face and that he is a useless man and there is no way I am going to marry a fool like that my king that she refused may be because she wants you to make more efforts towards winning her heart some women are like that, and we should not be discussing it. It's not as if we are discussing it alone. I invited you to brief you so that you know how much effort I'm making towards giving them the much needed queen. I'm not just a sitting idol. The agitation from the women have actually minimized. So take your time and win the woman that makes you feel happy. Such women. We add value to the life of a man. <laughs> no, I am glad that you understand I need time. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Kiru, what are you saying about this marriage with the king? There is nothing to say about it. Absolutely nothing. Look, you have to consider that offer. Yes, the king is threatening to close his account with us because you refused him. Mm. So you just have to say yes to him and deal with that. Boss, I cannot do what you're asking me to do. I can't. Nkiru, let me ask you something. Have you thought or do you know what it will cost the bank if we lose the king's account? Have you? Mm. See, my dear, you just have to deal with that. Except you don't want your job anymore. Excuse me? You had me right. What did you just say? So this is how you have chosen to repay me after everything I did for the bank? Is this how unreasonable you are? There is nothing wrong with marrying the king. Oh. <laughs> after all, it's a win-win for everyone. I wonder why you have refused to see the brighter side. Yes. I know full well 
that I'm an object of progress for the bank. But I never knew that I was never valued. You used my weakness to your advantage. Mostly all the reasonable accounts that made the bank what it is today came through me. And this is how you have chosen to repay me? Nkiru, you are our most valuable staff. And that is why I'm treating this case like this. I know you might think it's not a big deal. After all, she loves getting laid. But let me tell you, most of the time I do it with those fools that are beneath my status. I could have made better options. But no, I decided to do those things simply because of the love I have for my job. And now, what? You simply want to lay me off because I said no for the very first time? How cruel! No, my dear. No, no, no. You got it all wrong. Nobody wants to lay you off. We just want you to be considerate here. That's all. Yeah. You will live long, my king. The truth is that we will all live long. Please, let's get straight to the point. Your Majesty, your people are worried. Yes. Because I've been waiting for the arrival of the new queen. And they are beginning to talk. Even those that aren't even qualified to talk, they are now talking. My elders, my elders, I'm very sure that you know that one of the most difficult tasks before a man is getting a wife. Especially when it is not just a wife, but a queen of a kingdom. I'm taking my time. I already discussed this with you, no one he understands. I'm taking my time because I need to get a better queen for my people. A queen who will be very good for the kingdom. I mean, the elders have a duty. A duty to make the people understand. My king, you will live long. It's not as if we don't know what you are saying. But the seat of the queen needs to be occupied as soon as possible. You are right, Chokafu. The patience is running out. Uh -huh. Seriously, my fellow men in council, I support the king. What he said is very deep. It is better for the process to be delayed to enable us to get a credible queen than rush and get a queen. That will make things difficult for every one of us. Yeah, I think you know you are the only one who understands this matter very well. And that's in council. I will get a queen, but I need time. Give me time, let me do what is right. It won't take anything away from you, my dear. See, we will meet with the doctor and take it off from there. Simple. What do you think a doctor can do for me? Or did I tell you I'm sick? You never can tell. Doctors might have solution to this. They know better than us. See, I got talking with one doctor online last night and he confirmed that this is a medical condition that can be handled, yes. I honestly don't like this idea. I don't. Now everyone will know that I have a problem. I don't like it. My dear, no one will know anything. Nothing. See, we will just meet with the doctor, explain everything to him and see if there is any medication to, to be taken to control this. Okay? Why is this happening to me? Why me? Why can't I live my life like every other normal lady out there? Why can't I? Why am I being tormented? Why? My dear, those normal ladies out there you are thinking of, they are not better than you. They are not. The doctor will solve this problem that you have. And I can assure you, the bank foots the bill 100%. Yes. Share up, okay? What kind of life is this? How can the sugar in my mouth turn bitter? How can I miss this opportunity just because of something that is not my fault? Oh, what a pity. 
Who did I offend? What a tragedy With tears in her eyes She's full I'm tired of crying I'm tired of being used I'm tired of losing out I'm tired of being afraid Kiroka this is the time for you to do things without thinking about it. Oh, what a queen, sexual in Oh, what a queen, sexual in This grace, abomination, that's all we see. What a woman. Hello, Mr. Manager. How may I be of help? How is work and how is your family? Okay. I will no longer be closing my account with you. There's no need for doing that. Okay. Um, just leave everything the way they are. Okay. You're welcome. I'm home. Why do you ask? No, please. You can't come. Listen, I am passing through a moment of critical decision and I'm avoiding distractions. Please. Not like I'm calling you a distraction, but at this point in my life, I need to be left alone. Good night, Harry. Good night. Your Majesty. Greetings. You may sit. Alright. Ah. Wow. So, how have you been? I've been very good, Your Majesty. And you? I'm doing fine. What a pleasant surprise to have you come to look for me. Yes, Your Majesty. I've actually come to ask for your forgiveness. I disrespected you and turned you down. I'm so sorry. No problem. I understand. Um, I don't hold it against you. Trust me. Really good to hear that from you. So tell me, have you finally gotten a wife? Not yet. Oh, do you have someone for me? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Um... <laughs> I don't know if, if, um... Talk to me, my dear. What if, if what? Your Majesty, you know what we, what we discussed previously about, about me, about me being your wife? Yes.
Sincerely, I don't know how else to put this. I mean, I've always seen myself as a part of this family. And I want the best for the king. By the best, do you possibly see yourself as the best? Well, it is not in my nature to blow my trumpet. But any man that has me has gold. Oh. And that includes the king. Really? Yes, we. Really. Guess what? Guess what? What is it? Something good just happened at the palace right now. My brother, this is so uncharitable of you. Can you even say hi to my friend? I'm sorry, my bad. The problem here is I came with the news bigger than saying hi to just anybody. Really? Yeah. What is it? Our father's found someone he wants to marry. Wow. Who is she? The banker. The same banker. And guess what? Oh my god. <laughs> I am so excited. Father would be very happy. Where is he? I'll take you to him right Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So after everything I told her, she still came back and said yes. I called you then because I wanted to close my account with Iron Bank and start business with you. But I have resolved the problem I have with them. And I will not be closing my account again. I understand what you're saying. Okay? Um, and I'll, I'll make it up to you. Don't worry. Just come to the palace tomorrow and I'll write to you check for very good money. So that you can keep your job with your bank. Alright? Um, uh...